Hi, it's Pam from Outdoor Travel, and today I'm going to show you the Imagine 22 RBE XLS by Grand Design. It's a great couples trailer, and I'll tell you why it's a couples trailer, but basically this is uh, designed for one or two people and maybe some pets as guests. So we'll walk through. I just want to show you some of the pass-through storage that is with a magnet clasp, but the other nice thing in here is there's actually a motion detector light that when you're reaching in, say, to set up, it'll turn on and off so you, if you've got things in your hands, you don't have to fumble around because it's all lit up for you if you're uh, setting up in the dusk or early morning. It's got a power tongue jack and two 20-pound propane tanks. So this makes setup really nice and easy. So all your connections are inside for water. You have an outdoor shower with hot and cold running water and you can run your water lines right through here so they're not hanging out and you can close a storage compartment and still have your water flowing. So many trailers you'll see your hookups for your water connections and things like this outside. Um, so you're hooking up things down the actual trailer what Grand Design's done is put everything inside. So you have a hot and cold running water for an outdoor shower. This is your spray port and your hoses and everything will come up and attach through here. Um, your tank fill, your city water pressure, your battery tank, some electrical for you too, and your cable connections. Nothing, ha no cords have to run um, outside of the unit. And you can close a compartment door and everything is going up and nothing's exposed. And this is also a heated and enclosed storage compartment, which again, which I'll get into in more detail, Grand Design has a extended safe protection package on it with more insulation. So this is really useful for camping in extreme temperatures. So it's got a nice big patio with LED lights for patio lights at night. It looks quite nice. And if you see the blue here, that's one of your outdoor speakers. So uh, you'll be able to play music if you want to outside. And because there's exterior cable connections, if you really want to, you could set up a TV outside as well. So now we'll go in with a nice big sturdy grab handle, nice size, and the aluminum steps, it won't rust either. So one of the features I actually like is this entranceway because it's very roomy. You've got spots for shoes. It's not cluttered when you come in. And the kitchen's accessible right from right from the doorway. So if you're cooking, you can easily pass food out to other people. If you're doing dishes or doing things, it's just very accessible if you've got a picnic table and barbecue going on outside. So just wanted you to see the length of the countertop. Look at how much cook and work surface you have, including they always do a countertop extension. This is a roll up sink cover. So you can use it as a dish drainer as well, which is really nice because you're trying to minimize the amount of things that you bring with you. So this rolls up really nicely out of the way, but then you can also use it to put things on top of. High mounted sink faucet. And again, the placement of electrical is nice and low for coffee makers, uh, toasters and things like that. That's kind of nice. Just giving you a little bit of backlight with the Furion stove with the glass cover that sits flush to the countertop, not raised. Storage to me is one of the most important features of any trailer or motorhome or fifth wheel. So I just wanted to give you an idea of the depth of the cupboards. And again, this is solid hardwood drawer fronts and cupboard doors, huge pot and pan sinks directions to actually where and how to winterize your trailer. Very easy, very accessible with actual instructions for you. But you've got to see this. Six massive drawers for storage. Sometimes manufacturers won't put an actual window in to let some light in on the back wall. So this is a nice feature too. So what you have here is a Dometic LP and electric fridge, which means, again, it runs on bro both forms of power. So, and again, it knows it has an automatic switch here. So it will know if you're plugged into shore power, it will be using power from your campsite 
to generate power. When you're in transit, it will run off of the propane system. And if you're at a campground without electrical, your fridge is always running in your freezer. I like the new door handles too. Really easy to open and close. So a nice little feature. It's not a pocket door or a door that opens into the coach. It's actually really easy space saving as well. But look at the size of the bathroom. It's enough for even two people. Someone could be brushing their teeth, someone can be having a shower. Something else I wanted to show you, it's a porcelain toilet and the placement of the toilet is nice. You have a lot of space around it, but what's great is Grand Design's ducted heat right into the bathroom. Sometimes manufacturers, you get the heat ducted around the bathroom, but not in the bathroom. And again, with the self squeegeeing shower door, and they've given you pockets of storage for towels, linens. But I think every RVer complains about the space around a sink. I think they all do. There's no place to put a toothbrush. There's no place to put a face wash. Look at the size of the space you have here. You can even, you know, do cleaning products underneath, drawers, double medicine cabinet. A lot of people travel with their pets nowadays, um, cats, dogs, I've even heard parrots before, but um, usually a concern with cats is where do we put the litter box? It's a super spot. Because most people have to put the litter box and they put a liner in the shower uh, and that's where the litter box goes. I've also heard people say that this is a very spacious uh, unit for people with pet crates, dog crates, because there's lots of floor space to tuck them away at night in bed. So, as I was mentioning, this is a true couples coach. Really, it's a two person or one person, singleton, because there's just spot for two people to sit. They're heated massage recliners, which is quite nice. Uh, three speeds of massage, even better. And you can almost lay completely flat in them. They've got a nice spot that can drop down for coffee mugs or things like that. And the table is great for people because I met a lot of people recently who are uh, working out of their trailers and things like this. So if they've got their computers hooked up to your entertainment system or things like this, you can have your laptop working here. You can use this to dine in if you're not sitting, you know, outside by your campfire and by your picnic table. A lot of people eat outside. So this gives you a nice cozy spot to retreat in if the weather's bad or there's lots of bugs outside. Um, so, and you can also swivel the table because what if, you know, someone wants to sit at the end of the table or things like this. So you could actually use it. If you did have some guests, you could put two chairs here and the four of you could sit back and have a, a nice little card game on the side. Grand Design likes to design their products with a very residential feel with a lot of things enclosed so that you don't see them. So it, it looks less like a trailer and more like a little apartment. So you've got your stereo, your DVD player, everything hidden behind a nice smoked glass panel compartment. And they've left you room for storage as well. A lot of times you'll just see uh, features like this exposed with no cabinetry around it. And then you've got your nice, nice big Rocco TV that again, you can bring out and use with even more storage compartments beside it. Um, they're trying to maximize as much storage they can in a very tiny, it's an SUV friendly size of trailer, which means you can do a, a light duty truck or an SUV that can tow 7,000 pounds can easily handle this coach. It's a very campsite friendly uh, actual length. It's only about 25 feet, which means you have absolute no park restrictions anywhere. So uh, it's just it's just great. You can you'll have no restrictions at provincial, state parks, national parks, anywhere. So usually in smaller trailers, your bedroom is always exposed. You'll have a Murphy bed combination and it'll be an open concept floor plan. But they've created this layout with enough space to actually have a bedroom. So if someone's up at night watching a movie or doing their own thing, reading, um, you have some privacy as well. You've got storage under the bed on gas struts. And I like this little drawer because it means you can like layer the, I guess the most things that you would use the most, you can have right up here. 
and easy to grab, but still maintains storage underneath. You've got two air conditioning ducts in the bedroom, which will keep this couch nice and cool. It's not just one, and you've got a vent for airflow as well. Um, the interesting thing about Grand Design is they have an attic vent that releases moisture because with talking and temperature flux fluctuations, moisture does build up in trailers. So this has an attic vent that will release some of the moisture. So nice drawers. Um, they've shortened them a bit this year to give you an even better feature that wasn't available last year. So what we have now are store or cubbies on each side of the bed with USB charging and electrical and you've got your reading lights or you can turn them from blue to white like just if you're trying to relax or meditate before bed and somebody's reading almost like in an airplane okay i thought i'd let you know that this table is actually removable there's a metal bracket that slides out and lifts off so if you don't want it here and you just pull the table leg right out and you can store it in the bathroom or behind the, store it in the bathroom or behind the couch. So this is one of three floor plans in Grand Design's XLS lineup. Um, they've been really popular. The other two layouts are bunkhouse models, but again, SUV friendly, um, campground friendly. And thank you for watching today. And it's Pam from Outdoor Travel, and hope to see you here soon.